In our previous video, I have demonstrated the API development process. In this video, we will explore and get insightful overview of our API doc testing capabilities. If you want to run multiple test cases together, all you need to do is switch to this testing module. First, we create a new test scenario from here. Give it a name, select priority level and save. Then I can go to this add step option and choose to import from existing endpoint debug cases here. Just select the API cases you want to run, add conditions for complicated business scenarios, rearrange the order if required. Next, I need to select an environment from here and click on run. That's it. A test result will be generated within few seconds. Here's the test report by showing that if each API is selected either passed or failed, you can export the report. For failed results, you can click on it to see the reason. Click on debug it to see the details, which is very convenient for locating the problem and taking necessary actions. You can also share this report with your colleagues to collaborate together later. You can also run performance test on preferred environment and data. You can go to this performance mode and select the required virtual members or users, test duration and the ramp up duration and check the result. If you want to design a complex business case scenario, you can try this out. This time I can import from endpoint specifications. So you can actually create a business case scenario using API doc. For this pet store example, I can select the user and user tries to log into the system first. Then he is searching for the pets that are available by status and then placing an order for all the pets that are available by status. So I select these three API endpoints and if I click add, then this will take me to this test orchestration window where I can design this testing scenario as per my necessity. For example, if I send this get request, I will get this user's ID, which I need to use in the next step to search the pits that are available by status. So I can use the store variable option, but the easiest option in API dog would be using this magic wand, where I can retrieve the pre-step data and I will find the first endpoint here and select this API endpoint. I want to extract this form, the response body, and from the JSON expression, I want to extract this ID. So I will select data.id and press OK and insert it here in my request. The first data extraction from API endpoint A to B is done, but I wanted to place an order for all the available pets. So what I can do is like I can use these functions like groupings for each loop and others. So let me use this for each loop. And now I can simply drag this post request inside the for each loop. So once I have done that, I can array this to be looped to the previous step data once again. In each step, I can refer the pre-step data to pass the data from step A to B. So this way, I have done the test orchestration for this test case. Now I can save this one and run this one by selecting an environment. I can simply run these test cases with a single click. Here we can see the user ID in the first request, which has been used in the second step to search the pets that are available by status. So the request found few mock data available here and based on the results, placed order for all of them because of the forage loop. So this is how I can orchestrate a testing scenario visually using API doc. If you want to perform a data-driven testing, you can also do it. Upload your dataset as CSV or JSON. And now you can also use the data option to perform the test. Now, if we get back to our test scenario here, you can switch to CICD option. Select an environment, notification preference like completion or failure from here. And this will generate a command automatically. 
Now you can integrate them into your preferred CI CD pipelines like Jenkins, Azure pipelines, GitLab, etc. Use CLI to run them after the API development and testing are completed. If required, you can also use our scheduled task monitoring option where you can create a new task. You have to use your own general runner to run this scheduled task monitoring from your system. So here you can give it a name and then add the testing scenarios. I wanted to run this on here and then configure the details like the environments, data sets and iterations or the values. Then I can also run this one either hourly, daily or weekly basis and define the notification method as well. If you want to do the regression testing, you can consider that we have multiple test scenarios. And during regression testing, we need to run the entire process at once. In that case, I can click on the root folder and we will find all the scenarios here. I can select all the test scenarios or manually remove few of them and then batch run all of them together. This is very convenient and I can just do it with one single click. While designing APIs or working on breaking changes, if you are collaborating with multiple users, you can also use API Docs branch feature. It allows you to protect your APIs from unwanted changes. This branch feature can be used in all possible API development steps. You can create multiple branches while protecting the main branch. You can add extra layer of protection on main branch, which will allow the admin to review the changes in sub-branches before merging back them to the main branch and publish. A complete visual comparison will assist you to verify the modifications within the branches. You can also create multiple versions while working on your APIs. This versioning feature will allow you to maintain smooth transitioning from old APIs to new. You can check our official documentation that we also maintain two versions at the same time. The first one is English and the second one is Japanese. We are utilizing this feature for language, but you can use it for your updated APIs as well. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we will see how we can publish a beautiful API documentation using API Talk.